There is a little butt cheek in this one, but remember, we are in Vegas. Nobody's gonna bat an eye if I'm walking around with a butt cheek out. So who cares? Why not do your own thing and let them say what they want? What's up guys and welcome to my Opali Valentine's Day haul. I am actually trying to look for advice on which one of these items I should wear to my Valentine's Day dinner with Hunter. So let's do this again. I love asking for you guys' advice on what to wear in clothing hauls. It's so fun. Uh, this time we're actually gonna have a poll. It's gonna be the pinned comment at the top. So definitely make sure to put in your vote, cast your vote, but... Not only do my OnlyFans subscribers and like all the other spicy sites subscribers, I have like pretty much every spicy site nowadays. Not only do they get the last say in what I should be wearing, but they also get a way sexier video where I pretend that you, it's like POV, you're my best friend. I need advice on which outfit would make me get railed the easiest. And am I not in focus? Hello? Hello. Okay, that's better. Which outfit I would get railed in the easiest while I change and get naked and then it turns into something I can't even mention on this page. So before we get into these dresses, I do want to inform you, if you haven't already heard, that I am trying to bring back Friday Night Mail. Woo! I know you guys have been asking for it and I thought it was impossible, but the guys on my Twitch stream, shout out to you guys, twitch.tv slash Tara Babcock, they suggested that I get on this this page called Throne. So I have a Throne page now, it's throne.com slash Tara Babcock. And it's basically like a wish list site that never ever shows my address and it allows me to choose what I want to be sent to me. Previously, the reason why I got rid of FNM was because I just started getting too much clutter. I didn't want to keep up the PO box. It started getting a little sketchy at points with the PO box. I had a guy kind of trolling me, if you guys remember that. Mentally ill guy, I felt really bad for him. But yeah, there's just a lot of complications with that and I didn't want to clutter my house with all the awesome stuff that you guys give me because I'm not gonna throw it away. So I'm actually putting things on this list that are more haul focused. So if you guys wanna watch me try things on, I have sexy outfits, I have clothing for working out, and I have just like try on clothing that I actually wanna wear on a day-to-day -day basis. But on top of that, I still have a section for tons of nerdy stuff. If you wanna support the streams or the content by buying me like a lens or something, if you wanna go hard, I just have a bunch of different shit on there that I actually really do want. And you guys can suggest a gift and I can veto it. So it's basically like FNM 2.0 and it is up to you guys to get that show on the road. So go ahead and check it out. The link will be in my description along with all of my social medias and all of my links to all of the spicy sites in my link tree. All right, let's talk about the first. We're going from the end over there all the way to over here. I don't know why I have my YouTube pulled up there. That was so unesthetic to have it sitting there on top of the dresses. But anyway, the first dress we have, I thought would be the worst dress. I put it on and honestly, it's not that bad. It's, it's still, not the best. It's kind of awkward in that it's super tight on my rib cage, but then it kind of flares up and bunches up a little bit on the waist and then it gets tight again on the hips. So it kind of constricts my butt a little bit. And I'm not sure that this is a dress that I'll even keep. Spoiler alert, the rest are pretty fucking awesome. The next one, I don't know if this is gonna be Valentine's Day material because for me, I'm thinking of being sexier and more just like, I don't know, but I loved this dress. Something about it just screams you can wear this to a boring lawyer party, but it's also got sexy accents like the heart cutout in the back. It doesn't look that bad on me, and honestly, I feel like it almost perfectly fits. It's a little baggy along the waist, but I'm not sure if I wanna actually go to the tailor and take that in, because then I feel like it might be too constricting and too uncomfortable, but I do like this dress. It's got that like, um, I would say it's that, that, that business fabric. I don't know how to explain it to you guys, but there's like a fabric that's like really thick and not too stretchy, and it's just usually a fabric I don't like at all, but it's in a lot of suit jackets. It's that kind of thing. It's like kind of rough, but I like it anyway. The next one is the black size two, so smaller than the other one, heart cutout top. This is for more of a, I would say casual date. Hunter said I can wear a dress, but he didn't specify that I had to wear a dress. So I'm thinking it might more be along the lines of kind of like a, a casual thing, but I still like to dress up and wear a dress. So I'm pretty much impartial to whether or not we wanna go with a more casual look like this, but still based on Valentine's. Or if I wanna go with a full on dress and be super sexy, I don't know. The next one is a little bit more risque, but the red top here is a size four, so it's one size bigger. I don't really know if I love this outfit, but I do 
do think is kind of sexy and hot. It's like a pleated little like PVC slash leather skirt paired with the top that I got from Opali for Valentine's Day. By the way, if you're a girl and you're watching this, all of this is from their heart edit collection, whatever. I'm gonna not post the links down in the description. I used to do that for people who really want, but I feel like it, this is mostly just a sexy clothing haul in for engagement and you, and you guys to choose which outfit I end up wearing. Not so much for the people who are looking to buy them, unless you're just looking to see what these clothes look like beforehand on a busty blonde, which I feel like most of you are, but not following through with the purchase. Shame on you. Actually, zero shame on you. There's just better places for that. Anyway, what do you guys think about the leather red pleated skirt with the butt out a little bit? There is a little butt cheek in this one, but remember, we are in Vegas. Nobody's gonna bat an eye if I'm walking around with a butt cheek out. It's not like other places. I like it, I just don't think that it's the best one out of the bunch, but I think I'm gonna keep both of the tops. I think I can wear them better with a bra, kind of like push up the boobs and make it look crazy. But one of my gripes with both of the tops is that neither of them actually really look like a heart unless you're leaning forward a lot. Next, we have something that does look like a heart is this heart-shaped rhinestone shirt. Let me actually pick this one up and show it to you because it's so pretty. I really love this one. So this one has a zipper on the side and it has a corset thing on the back so I can zipper it on the side then corset it as tight as I want to really push up my boobs and give that corset look. It still keeps the shape of a heart when it's on and it shows a good amount of my midriff. I decided to wear this with jeans but I feel like I could also wear it with black leather leggings. Um, I kind of thought this would be like an even more casual style thing but also still playing up the outfit because the top is gonna to be rhinestones and then the shoes pretty much look exactly like the top, but the bad part about this outfit and the outfit in the hot pink dress is that both of them, I'm gonna wear the rhinestone pink shoes, which actually, they like really hurt my feet. So we'll see how that goes. Hunter always parks and then makes me walk so far. I don't know where we're going actually. He's keeping it a secret, but he did tell me that it's one of the places on our list and I didn't even know we had an official list. So not sure where we're going. I'm sure it's some nice steakhouse or something or potentially a sushi place since he finally got me into sushi and I'm kind of obsessed. Last, saved for last because I definitely thought it was the, not the least, is the perfect red dress. Now, if I was gonna choose, I would probably wear the red dress, but I do think that all the other choices are viable choices. I actually like them all. They're actually really nice dresses. I got something from Opali once before. It was awful, I returned it. They made returning a pain in the ass. They were really awful about it. And then I threatened them and then they finally gave me my money back. And I don't know what possessed me to buy these things. I kind of just wanted to do a haul for you guys and this seemed like the cutest stuff. The heartbreaker edit, I just had to. And I'm actually very impressed with the quality of their stuff this time, to put it as verbosely as possible. <laughs> but this is gonna be a short video anyway, so I'm sure you guys don't mind. I love this dress. I love the accents in the back. It doesn't make me have a lot of back fat like the first dress does. It just feels like it really fits my body. Sometimes when things are spandex, they give me that little weird circle around my belly button that I feel just makes me look super fat, but this one like flattens me out nicely without flattening me entirely. It's got the little scrunch above the butt. The, the heart decor on the back is the cutest ever. I love it. And it's just really effortlessly sexy. It has these like silicone things on the cups to keep kind of the boobs in place, which I like a lot. And I don't know, I, I just think this might be the one for me, but I want you guys' opinions, especially over on the spicy sites because I'm going with what they say as the last word. But I want your opinion because I could be swayed to any of these other outfits. I think they're all great viable outfits for Valentine's Day. What do you guys think? Post in the comments. And don't forget, finally, when I get my first thing from Throne on my wish list, I am going to bring back Friday Night Mail and I am so freaking excited. So I hope you guys can Check out the wish list, see if there's anything you'd like to get me. Suggest a gift and maybe I won't veto it. I'll take comments again, I'll have themes again. I'm so excited. I'm so much fitter now, so I'm gonna have so much more fun trying things on and I'm super excited to try on things like cosplay or like lingerie and just whatever you guys wanna see me in. I cannot wait to bring this back. I'm so happy that I can bring back the community show that everyone loved so much and that maybe I can bring back my community. This is great news. Also, once again, I have to nudge, nudge, wink, wink you one more time. 
If you know, you know, by the way. To please check out the links in my description. Linktree has all the good ones and then all the social media is there as well. I'm trying to grow back up my social media and actually listen to the algorithm and remove pictures they want me to remove while still posting things so you guys can see it first. So I think that's my dirty little secret right now is that like I just post whatever I want on Instagram. When they tell me I can't be recommended, I then delete it. And hopefully that works, we'll see. And if you want the point of view of being my bestie who gets to decide which dress I would best be railed in while doing a little something extra that I can't name, head over to my spicy sites and sign up. It's definitely worth it. And I will not let you be lonely on Valentine's Day. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. I really hope you, none of you guys are sad on Valentine's Day. I I love you guys so much. I don't think it's worth it. It's a stupid ass fucking holiday. The only reason I even celebrate it is because I like red and pink. It's my two favorite colors. I like hearts and I got a boyfriend, but like we really don't even have to. We're just going out to a little dinner where hopefully I'll get railed after. <laughs> I love you guys. I cannot state it enough. I love you guys so much. Let's fucking bring f and back and let me know on the pinned comment and probably in the description on the straw poll, which one you would take me out in. Bye guys. Oh, and I'm also gonna like film Hunter's reaction to the one that my Spicy Sight fans picked for me and post it there. And I'll show him all the other ones too so he can tell you guys if you did a good job. I don't know if that entices you or not, but I think that kind of stuff is interesting. All right, bye for real now.